Brian. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. Impeccability of the word can be measured by a level of self-love. If you love yourself, you'll express that love in your interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. That's a beauty. <coughs> Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 41, Nasdaq off 18, S&P's down 5.5. Gold, gold contract up at the buck 90, trading at 2,051 an ounce. We had silver up 19 cents, 23 dollars 38 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude at a buck 50. 73 dollars 70 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note right now trading uh, down 9 ticks at 111.22. The 30-year off 29 ticks at 121.30. And the 10-year right now, now is back at 4%, folks. We got down to 3.794. Right now, you're at 4.044. And King Dollar. King Dollar is up two, pet, two ticks right now. 102.426. Euro is at 109. Yen's at 144. British pounds 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We're going to go right into the futures market here. Because what you have here is that this market wants to test the low of this morning when we got that spike down. So what you're looking at is this. You get, that, you get the spike down, which is 47.02. We went all the way up to 47.60, 58 handles, right? Now you can see how this shook out. First, you're going up with light volume. Then 10 o'clock. The ISM number comes out, they liked it. 10.30, another number come out, they liked it. And then you can see what's happening here. You're talking about a full hour that is trying to get the higher price. If you're looking, if you're watching Tiger TV, you're going to see down the bottom, your volume just totally drops off, okay? Can't bang them up. What are you going to do? You're going to bang them down. Okay, so that's exactly what they do. Then what ended up happening, you, you know, you did this counter trend bounce. Now, the thing that's intriguing from where we are right now, this, this did a perfect 618. You know, so this is where it gets really wild, meaning that from the low to the high, we did a 618 on the way down. Now, if you only use the Fibonacci sequence, it's like, okay, well, that, that could be a good place to buy. Now, my take is that no, it wouldn't be today, and this is why. Because when we, when we take a look at this, there she is. When you see that volume characteristic down there? The, fir the first low was established out there with uh, 23,000 contracts. The next low had 39,000. Was it? Oh, what? Yeah, 23,39. So that 39 was breaking or looking to break that swing point. So that's telling me now you're going to build cause for a bit and coming into this close, you're going to go all the way right down and close at the lows. And what does happen, folks, okay, is that the. Um, Normally, the market in general, if you're down three or four days in a row and you come into a Friday, it's, it's really hard to turn around. Let's put it that way. Particularly when the S&Ps were already up 20 points, they came back down. So we'll see how this shakes out. And why? Okay, because guess what? It's a choppy market, man. It's not the end of the world. If we go over, let me show you this, because this is a, the market's bullish, but it's going to be a nice pullback first. We take a look at the note and bond market. And it's all about notes and bonds and interest rate structure and the dollar. And what you can see here is that you're coming right into the December 13th, which is a huge sign of strength. Took out a B point, took it out with volume, and you're coming into that area with quite a bit of volume. Now, we did 2.3 on the way up, and then we did 3.1. Today, we get 2.2. 2. 
So this is where it gets dicey, man. You, you do have volume on the way down, but it's still lighter volume than the strength that you see. If I go to the gold market, you're going to see the exact same thing. Now, gold is showing its strength because when I show you this, you're going to see the same type of setup. We'll put this on it. Now, it's only flat. It's been going sideways, right? But when you see the setup, here's the setup. The setup is the same day of strength. And the difference is on the gold market, we got to 2030 today. You did 205,000 contracts, but you're coming into 231,000 contracts. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. 231,000. So the bottom line is that you're still coming into that area. You're coming in with lighter volume. And then if we go to the dollar, we take a look at the dollar. What you have inside the dollar. The dollar got all the way up to 103, 101, and the 0.382 is the 103, 283. So, number one, I expect that what you're going to see here is that the dollar, yeah, the dollar can go test this area again, but the dollar wants lower price. That being said, though, what you'll see here coming into the close, <coughs> excuse me, folks, is that I expect the dollar will creep up again. As that creeps up, the S&Ps will creep lower. Bottom line is that you'll get into this low. The thing that's going to be intriguing, if I'm right in the context of how it comes into it, the real question is, will there be an acceleration of volume coming into the low? And if we go with the E-minis again, because the E-minis just went, now this is where it gets really cool, because you got to look in both sides of it, meaning on the way up and on the way down. And we'll be able to do this right now. You see this bounce right here? Now we only get down a buck. See the anemic volume on that? And that's, you have only four minutes into it right now. This bar is going to be really important, because you're going to match this bar here with the bar from, 10 minutes, from 20 minutes ago. That's how this shakes out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.